Frank, we're in Oakhampton. Why are we here today? It's a bit like a nostalgia trip. I came here in 1972 and ended up as a, a teacher in the local school. It had just gone from grammar to comprehensive. And I arrived in the January of 1972 and all the teachers took advantage of my arrival as assistant teacher of general subjects to dump the first year remedials on me. Which was a good experience. I got to know these children and care about them and taught them everything that I knew. And it inspired me. And you were telling me about a young red-haired boy. Ah, uh, yes, in that very class. I've forgotten his name now. A young red-haired boy who always came bottom. And he said to me, Mr. Gent, why do I always come bottom? And it really hit me up there. I thought, well, <laughs> you're an unlucky sod. You were born in one of a very large working class family with a lack of cat in hell's chance of escaping from this world. I don't know where he is now. I hope he did escape. Did he come bottom? I fiddled it. I made sure he didn't come bottom in everything that particular time as his teacher. I thought he deserved, you know, not to be labelled in that way. It's a permanent failure. Was Oakhampton a good time? Oakhampton was a challenging time. Oakhampton had this rather naughty epithet of being the dead centre of Devon. It is geographically in the centre, but also it's like, here we are today, we're at the end of the line. This line wasn't even open when I was living here. It's remote on the northern edge of Dartmoor. Not very good service. In those days, it didn't have Waitrose, didn't have Lidl, didn't have, only had one small supermarket, the, the international stores in the high street. But on the other hand, I enjoyed living here as the weather got better. By the time Easter came and I moved into better accommodation, warm and sunny, swimming in the flooded quarry, learning to make Honiton lace and going off on my Lambretta scooter to visit my grandparents and just escape, I, I quite enjoyed it. Bridgestone was much nicer than Thornton Cross. I lived, there was another branch line off this line and went through to Bude and I lived on the branch there and a little rather horrid home-built hovel of a cottage and built in the 20s. So I, it was a challenge, but I was glad to escape from home in Manchester. And it was the beginning of me making my career, and it was my introduction to being in education for the rest of my life.